Lately, I've been getting questions about breakthrough cases of COVID-19 and why people are still able to contract the virus even when they are fully vaccinated. I've also heard anecdotal comments and questions about the value of getting vaccinated if breakthroughs are possible. So I want to take some time to walk you through what a breakthrough infection is. I also want to take a deeper dive into the data to help explain why getting fully vaccinated is so important and how it can protect you not only from contracting and transmitting the virus, but also how it greatly reduces the risk of severe illness and death. So let's get into it. Here are five things you need to know about breakthrough infections. A breakthrough infection is an infection in a fully vaccinated person, that is someone who received their final dose of a COVID-19 vaccine at least 14 days ago. While COVID-19 vaccines are effective at preventing infection, no vaccine is 100% effective. COVID vaccines were not designed to prevent 100% of infections. They were designed to prevent severe illness, hospitalization, and death, and they do that really well. The vast majority of COVID-19 hospitalizations right now are in unvaccinated individuals, despite the fact that they make up only a small portion of the population. The real world evidence could not be clearer. Vaccines are working. Vaccinated people are significantly less likely to get sick with COVID-19 and less likely to end up in the hospital and ICU. Breakthrough infections are rare. In Canada, most reported cases, hospitalizations and deaths are occurring among unvaccinated people. As an example, here in Halton, more than 440,000 residents are fully immunized and less than 0.1% of those people have been diagnosed with COVID-19 after full vaccination. As of the second week of September, about 26% of the Halton population remains unvaccinated. Many of these individuals are children under the age of 12 who are not yet eligible for vaccination. Like the data in the rest of Canada, here in Halton, the unvaccinated population made up almost two thirds or 66% of COVID-19 cases. This is disproportionately higher. Breakthrough infections usually cause mild to moderate symptoms. Some fully vaccinated people may test positive for COVID-19 without experiencing any symptoms at all. Others may experience symptoms that would likely have been much worse had they not been vaccinated. Most people recover quickly and stay infectious for a shorter period of time. A small percentage of breakthrough infections are in people with weakened immune systems who are unable to respond as well to vaccines. Here too, symptoms are generally milder than if they had not received the vaccine. In Ontario, some people with weakened immune systems are advised to get a third dose of vaccine to add an extra layer of protection. The greatest risk of transmission is among people who are unvaccinated. Fully vaccinated people can still become infected and have the potential to spread the virus to others, although at much lower rates than unvaccinated people. However, vaccinated people are much less likely to become infected. Therefore, they are less likely to spread COVID-19. Recent studies also show that vaccinated people spread the virus for a shorter period of time. So, while it is much less likely for a vaccinated person to contract and transmit COVID-19, it is possible, which is why it is still important to wear a mask in indoor public places and follow public health guidelines, regardless of your vaccination status. Vaccines really do provide the best protection against COVID-19. This is what we know today. COVID-19 vaccines save lives. The vaccine is very effective in reducing your chances of getting infected. It also greatly reduces your chances of going to hospital if you do become infected and can save you from severe illness. Even if you don't think you are at risk of severe outcomes because you are a young and healthy person, think twice. Young and healthy people are not immune to getting COVID-19 infection and ending up with long COVID symptoms. Getting vaccinated helps reduce the chance you will infect others. 
especially vulnerable populations, such as those with weak immune systems. The best way to reduce the number of COVID cases, including breakthrough cases, is to have as many people vaccinated as possible and to ensure that we all continue to follow other preventative measures until we have a high level of community protection. There are many options to get your COVID-19 vaccine. Learn more at halton.ca slash COVID vaccines. Let's do our part, Halton, and please remember to continue to be kind to one another.